Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial and I uh, stumbled across some sketches of mine that I did when I was drawing fences and I did this in pen and ink here you can see a hatch and um, well there was that little birdhouse that I draw in and I thought that would be awesome to share on my patreon page and uh, well, here I am explaining about the horizon, the two disappearing points, and you can see me building up this little uh, birdhouse on this Patreon page. And I will be explaining exactly how you can uh, measure out uh, how the poles are going to be for the fence and how to build up this lovely little birdhouse. Now, um, of course, uh, not everybody wants to start right away in ink, because ink cannot be erased. So, uh, what I do here is I simply draw in that horizon line and use the two disappearing points to get that birdhouse on that tree stump. As you can see here, I'm drawing from the left disappearing point the front of the house then I make a cross and I draw a vertical line upwards so I know where the tip of my birdhouse will be now on top of that there is that roof that is overlapping that little house and uh, the roof itself of course has some kind of a thickness and here you can see the peep tiny hole for uh, well the entrance and a little stick underneath it where the birds can land upon then from the left disappearing points I draw in two lines because I want to draw in that fence that is behind that birdhouse now when you make a cross and draw a line like this dividing it into the middle then you know exactly where your poles are going to be uh, an exact explanation is shown on my patreon page so if you're interested please pay that a visit and maybe you want to support me there now it's very easy when uh, you have those lines standing in there to draw in that fence and what is also the case is that um, this gives a lot of dimension because you can see the poles uh, going from smaller to bigger and they come towards you now on top of the birdhouse of course I want to draw in a little bird and uh, well it's just landing there sitting uh, on the tip of that birdhouse and here you can see the little planks that it's built up from and what's also very nice is maybe uh, you wanted to draw houses then it's an excellent way to uh, learn to draw about houses by uh, starting with a tiny birdhouse isn't it it's just lovely and it's tiny uh, but still you can um, well get those perspective lines in there and start drawing in that tiny house now when you are happy with the lines you've drawn in with your graphite pencil it is time to start picking up the fine liner in this case I'm using a Stettler 0.05 the drawing is not that big so I need a, uh, a fine tip so I can draw in as much as detail as possible now this is the plank and the tree stump on which the birdhouse is sitting on because that the birdhouse and the tree uh, stump is in front of us I can put in a lot of detail 
by putting in a lot of detail, uh, this gets extra attention, of course, and it also gives you a nice perspective way of looking. So it's easy for your viewers that this one is really, really in front and um, draw in as much as detail as you want. And the sun is coming from the right top from behind. So the underneath of the plank that the birdhouse is sitting on uh, needs a lot of shadow. Also the inside of course of the oval where the birds can go into the house and underneath that overlap of course there needs to be a lot of uh, shadow too and on top of the roof I draw in some tiny tiles I thought that would be a nice effect but of course you can draw in any kind you can even draw in a straw roof roof if you want now this is the shadow that is casted just underneath the overlap of the roof and the front of our house uh, will uh, catch more shadow than the right side of the birdhouse now I will leave it up to there for now but I first want to draw in uh, the rest of the fence. The fence here on the right side is closest to us. So also on those uh, poles and uh, the planks that go sidewards, I can draw in a lot of structure. I also draw in the shadow that is casted from the poles uh, that uh, hold that fence and because the Sun is coming from the right behind the uh, the planks themselves catch shadow too so I simply render in from left to right now I get some values going Then I continue drawing in some values. This is the, the meadow that is behind the, the birdhouse. So I simply, um, well, quickly give that a tone of color, a value. And once I've done that, I can see, okay, maybe I need a little more darkness in front. So this is the time when you start um, well, watching uh, what needs more darkness. So this is the underneath of the little birdhouse that needs a little more blackness. And also the left side of that tree stump. Then I go over the overlap of the roof and I also put in a little bit of shadow in between the tiles on top of the roof. Then once again I go over the front of our little birdhouse. Then I thought it was also very nice to draw in uh, here a tree that is just behind. It's in the far distance so I do not put in too much detail. I just uh, put in some shadows and uh, some values and just make uh, a suggestion of a tree. Then the little bird of course, that needs a little bit of value too. Uh, his tail is uh, tipped right up. Here you can see a little bit of the side of the wing. And I also draw in some lines for the sky. I make sure that all the lines go toward our birdhouse. So all the attention uh, should go to the subject of my choice, which is that birdhouse, of course. 
I even put in a little bit of wood structure for the little planks that the birdhouses build up from. Then it's time for the sky. Now this is not so easy, um, but what I use here are some quick lines, but as you can see and if you watch closely, I keep those strokes going towards the bird and the birdhouse. So uh, this gives the sky some kind of dimension. Then I make sure that the values are correct again. Draw in some extra tree. And then I go back into that sky again. I place little lines in between the lines that I've put in first. And as you can see, they keep going towards that little bird. Now this gives that sky, uh, well, some greatness. It makes it a very spacey. Then I need to uh, put in some more value. Now, uh, maybe you want that uh, front pole to get some more um, darkness. And also, on the underneath of the planks that are in between, there is a lot of shadow. So I can just make that darken up again extra. And also what you can notice is that all the lines of the fence itself also go towards our birdhouse. Here the bird gets a little bit more shadow on the back of his uh, back and underneath on his belly and for the field that is in front of us I've chosen a high grass maybe it's uh, well some grain or something so I simply draw in some tiny lines and uh, this part really get, catches a lot of sun so I will leave it up to there and then I cross hatch for the planks that are in between the poles. What I do next is I give the planks that are in between the poles a wooden structure. So I simply go over my cross hatching and draw in the structure of the wood. Then once again, I go over the underneath of uh, the board where the birdhouse is sitting upon and I draw in some extra shadow just next to the tiles so that the, the birdhouse itself really, really pops out. Now, if you think uh, your first setup lines in graphite are disturbing your drawing, of course, you can always erase them out. No problem at all. In that way, nobody will see that you did the setup in graphite, which is no problem at all, of course. So, this is how I did it, and I hope you will give this video a like share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe also maybe i will see you on my patreon page with a lot of tips and prints and all you want share your drawings anyway i will see you again next friday